Hello, my name is Jen. I am the Unorthodox Healer. This is a tarot card reading for Leo for the month of February. I only take cards that jump out at me and I do not read reversals. This tarot card reading is for Leo for your sun sign, rising or ascending sign. That's probably too many cards. Um, or your moon sign. If you were um, born in the evening, then I would recommend that you go and find out as to what your moon sign is, because you might find that your moon sign actually resonates more with you than your sun sign does. It's controversial, but stick with me. You can look up online um, to find out quite easily and for no cost as to what your your moon sign is. Um, let me know in the comments as to whether you find that um, whatever your moon sign is resonates with you more or not. So the cards that we have so far are the Fall, the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups. I apologise for the glare that's on the the cards at the top, the Magician, the Page of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. And the card which is the overriding energy for the reading for February is the Nine of Wands. You have um, a lot of sword energy and you have um, the magician and the fool as the major arcana which are more sort of um, slow moving um, permanent um, things that are going on in your life this month rather than the others which are sort of uh, less important shall I say um, emotions and things that are, that are going on for you at the moment. The Fool and the Magician are the first two cards of the the um, the tarot deck and the Fool is all about new beginnings. He has got a little dog that's warning him that he's about to walk off the side of a cliff. He doesn't care. He has got the sun on his back. He is happy as anything and he is so blind and innocent to everything that he is about to step off the side of a cliff and he doesn't care. Even though he is being warned by his little dog that he shouldn't go any further. He's just in a blissfully innocent state. The magician is supposedly the first person that the fool meets on his journey. And the magician is about having all of the tools at your disposal to manifest what it is that you want. So you are looking at new possibilities. You have the Ace of Cups as well, which is about, typically the Ace of Cups would show that there would be a new important person coming into your life or a new something that you love. For some reason, I keep hearing puppy um, and that popped up in another reading as well. But it is about something new coming and something which brings you much love and happiness. This is February if you believe in Valentine's Day and celebrate it. You have the Queen of Cups here as well. It might be that something amazing is going to happen on Valentine's Day. It's also a leap year, so ladies, if you want to be the one to... Um, propose to your other half 
the leap year is the time to do it. Now, there are some slightly less positive cards here. The underlying energy is the Nine of Wands. He's standing there. He's a wounded soldier. He has barricaded himself in with wands. And although he's safe and he's got he's confident enough to have his back to the the thing that he's fleeing from and that he's protecting himself from he is battle weary and he's been through a tough time so i think that you have developed a great deal of strength from whatever has been going on with you astrologically we've we've moved out of pluto being in sagittarius and it's moved into aquarius instead that's been there for about 15 years, I think. And if um, you have found yourself in difficult situations in the last 15 years, that could be because Sagittarius um, has had Pluto in it. Now we're moving out of that. And this is a situation where all the planets are all moving forwards and it's a very energetic time. So... The recommendations are that you should probably act wisely and sensibly and see things for what they really are and perhaps use your head rather than your heart. The Nine of Wands is backing that up because it is showing that you've been through quite a tough time. But you are wiser for it, even though you might have had some some scars to prove the, the journey that you've been on recently. But there are definitely really exciting new beginnings coming. Um, these could be in love because you have the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups. The Queen of Cups is about somebody who is very healing, very loving, very calm and compassionate. This might be you. This might be somebody that you know. It might be somebody in the past that um, has been a great influence on your life. I'm not too sure as to whether they're coming back into your life. But there's definitely something beautiful emotional emotionally coming into your into your life this month and it's going to bring about new opportunities and, and new happiness because i think between the pair of you you are going to be really um movers and shakers if for, for want of a better term there are two cards which are just warning you a little bit about just being sensible and seeing things clearly. The Seven of Swords is read by other people as somebody betraying you and somebody not being honest. And I don't read them like that. I believe that he is actually... Um, diffusing a situation. He's taking those swords away from that army camp. So this is a positive card because there has been a situation which perhaps it relates to, to the nine of ones where you've been a little bit battle weary, that perhaps you have stepped away from something which could have escalated into something worse and that's now why you are in this situation of unlimited possibilities and have some real power at your hands to be able to to bring about this this happiness the page of swords is quite similar to the fall and that's 
the the fall is about you going off on a new journey and the page of swords is about new opportunities coming to you he's looking behind him and he is looking as though it's almost kind of like a cricket bat you know that he's ready to fire anything back the way and back into the past should it should it come towards him perhaps there are things from that past from where he's looking at that still haunt you a little bit backed up by this this card here the the nine of wands I think that you've worked really hard to get out of this situation. You've been quite clever and you've used your brains to, to get out of this situation. But I think that you can't see that there is this new opportunity and these new beginnings coming to you. Perhaps you're a little bit too tied up in the fact that you, you are feeling sorry for yourself, perhaps. And you just need to take the blindfold off. You're not actually trapped here. These swords uh, are almost protecting you from things that might uh, might be coming at you. You're not bound tightly. And you can just walk away. But you're holding yourself here. The same as you are in the Nine of Wands here. I think that you've had to been... Have, I think you've had to have been clever... But there's still something which is tying you. And until you deal with these things, these emotional things that are going on inside you, you aren't going to be able to start afresh and get these new opportunities. I don't think that it's a lot of work. They're only minor cards, so these aren't big things that you need to be working through. Um... So perhaps do some meditation and some journaling to be able to work past these issues that have been bothering you and still do haunt you a little bit. Because you have been really clever to be able to get out of this situation. You're there. You are the person who is ready to bat back any of this rubbish that has happened to you in the past. And that there are new opportunities there for you. And, and something really fantastic emotionally too. So keep at it. Perhaps there is somebody, this, this feminine figure, this Queen of Cups, which is going to be useful to you to be able to move your, yourself away from, from this past which, which still haunts you. I hope that's been useful. Um, please like, share and subscribe and comment below if this has resonated with you. Please take care, practice gratitude and self-love because if we don't love ourselves then nobody's going to love us in the first place. Take care um, and I will speak to you soon. Bye.